already so it has been a long time since you've seen a video on this channel about three weeks as you know if you've been subscribed to us Robin and I went to Aruba for two weeks at the end of October and we came back on the 9th of November which was my birthday which is what this video is about I am going to be doing my birthday book haul um, which is quite a hefty book haul. Um, I got a good amount of gift cards for books because I'm easy to buy for and so yes I appreciate all of this. I got so many books it was ridiculous. Not that I really <laughs> needed that many books. Robin and I should be doing a video soon hopefully um, about what books we did read in Aruba. Uh, if we stuck to our Ruby to be read video, and I also have a little bit of footage from Aruba, not very much. Um, I wish I would have taken more, but hindsight, right? Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get right into this just because I have a ridiculous amount of books to show you. Um, some of these books were books that I purchased with my own money as kind of a birthday present for myself, and the rest of them were from gift cards from my sister, from Robin, and from my brother's girlfriend Amber so thank you all for those wonderful books that you bought me okay so let's go ahead and get started I actually bought this book a little bit after my birthday whenever I was with my friend Elizabeth and Robin in her hometown visiting her we went to a Barnes and Noble it was one of the prettiest Barnes and Nobles I've ever been in Les Miserables by Victor Hugo and it was kind of like in the Barnes and Noble Classics edition I guess it's like $7.89 or something, and it's a really pretty edition. It kind of looks like it's been colored in crayon or colored pencil, pencil or something, but I really like it. This book is a monster, and I'm really excited for the movie, but I've never read the book, and I don't really know too much about the story, but yeah, hopefully one day I'll be able to read this, but I don't know when that's actually going to happen because it is about 800 pages, and the print is ridiculously small so if it was normal print this book would be like 1600 pages or something so yeah hopefully I'll get to this at some point in my life but probably not anytime soon the next book that I got has been a book that I've been interested in but a little bit hesitant to get and that is Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor the reason why I was hesitant is because Raylene from Padfoot and Prongs 07 didn't have a great reaction to it and we t she tends to have same opinions as me if she reviews a book and she doesn't really like it and I read it I tend not to like it I don't know if I'm being influenced or not but that just tends to be how it is um, but it sounds really interesting and I wanted to read it so I bought it plus I love this cover minus this little sticker that I will probably remove but very pretty so yes. this next book is a book that I haven't heard a lot about if you have read it and liked it let me know and that is a certain slant of light by Laura Whitcomb and it seems kind of creepy and kind of weird um, basically she's a ghost that's haunting a high school and so for 150 years she's just been haunting this being able to watch the students and of course they can't see her until one day she feels someone watching her and one of the boys in the class can see her and it's going to turn into some sort of love story which is probably going to be really weird but we'll see how this goes um yeah it, it has an okay rating on goodreads so we'll see the next book that i got is shipbreaker by paolo basigalupi i butchered that one um i think it was hank green that recommended this book and so i thought why not give it a try plus it is a male narrator which i don't tend to read a lot of male a lot of books with male narrators in them so it should be interesting this next book that I got I'm really excited for I've been wanting it ever since I saw it a few months ago in Barnes and Noble and that is why we broke up by Daniel Han uh, Daniel Handler and Mara Kalman and it just seems really cool and I love the illustrations and you could knock someone out with this book it's ridiculously heavy for just it's a normal size book but you really could do damage with it but yeah I really like the illustrations and that's probably 95% of why I got this book um, it's just fantastic I love all of it yes yeah, so I'm really excited to read this one and I've been wanting it for a really long time 
Next book that I got, I've been waiting for it to go on clearance because I didn't really like the first book, but I would like to read the whole series, but I didn't want to pay full price or even half price, so I waited until it was $2 at half price books, and that is It Is Not Summer Without You by Jenny Han. Basically, I just want to read it because I don't want to not finish the series. The next book I picked up at half price books as well, just because it seemed cute and I know nothing about it, but we'll see if whenever I eventually read it how I like it, and that is The Penderwicks, A Summer Tale of Four Sisters, Two Rabbits, and A Very Interesting Boy by Jan Birdsall. Not sure what it's about, but I love the cover. It looks cute. And the next one, I'm telling you there's tons of books, and I'm sorry if this video is like 15 minutes long, but I'm sorry. Um, and it is Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. Don't have to say much about this, a lot of people have read it. I've never met anyone who doesn't like it, but I have not read it yet. So I finally got a copy of it, and I will be reading it eventually. The next book I got, I've been wanting for a while, because I'm trying to do the A through Z book challenge, and I needed one for V, and so I got Vegan Virgin Valentine by Carolyn Mackler. And it seems interesting about a girl who is a, kind of a goody-goody on her way to Yale, and then her 16-year-old niece, even though they're about the same age, comes to visit, and she is not so goody-goody. And so it's her experience with having to live with someone opposite of her and how it affects her life. And these next four books that I got, I'm excited for because while we were in Aruba, we brought some Sarah Dessen books, and I have never really read a Sarah Dessen book. I think I read this lullaby, but I don't remember any of it, so I'm not even sure if I read it or not. But um, while I was in Aruba, I read for uh, Along for the Ride, and I really, 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 really enjoyed her writing style, and I enjoyed her stories, and so kind of went nuts. So, and the three. Sarah Dessen books that I personally purchased with gift cards and the like are That Summer, Keeping the Moon, The Truth About Forever, and it has the bookmark that Robin got for me, which is a Wizard of Oz one, and I love it. And this one, which Robin got me actually on my birthday while we were in the airport, and it had a really, really, really cool bookstore in it, um, and that one's Just Listen. So, yes, a lot of Sarah Dessen books. <laughs> The next book that I got, The Power of Six by Pitaka Slore. As you know, I read I Am Number Four, and I really enjoyed it. I actually have a review of it, so if you haven't seen it, go ahead and watch it. I'll leave a link down below. And this next one was kind of like a random purchase. I just saw it and was like, what the heck, why not? <laughs> and that is Forever by Judy Bloom. And along the same kind of contemporary line as Forever, I got Stay by Deb Coletti. Also, I got Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. I thought I owned this book, but I don't. So, I got it. Sorry. My mom's outside. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm excited about to finally read this one. I would like to read it before the movie comes out. Because um, I'm excited about the movie because Emmy Rossum's in it. And I have been a little obsessed with Emmy Rossum ever since Thin of the Opera. <laughs> so, I want to read this definitely before I see the movie. The next book that I got has also been a book that I've wanted to read for a really long time, and that is Winter Girls by Lori Hulse Anderson. And I really like this cover. I don't know if anybody else watches Dance Moms, but I do religiously because, I don't know, I just really like dance shows. And this girl looks just like Chloe from Dance Moms. That's like the first thing I noticed when I picked up this book, but it sounds really good. And I really enjoyed Speak, so I'm looking forward to this one. And this next book that I got actually in Aruba, and if you don't no, Aruba is actually a, a Dutch Caribbean island, so it is part of the um, Dutch par Parliament. Um, and so, even though they speak their own language called Papiamento, which is kind of like a mixture between, from what I could tell, Dutch, Spanish, and a little bit of French. Um, but most of their books are in Dutch, and some of them are in Spanish. But, yeah, so I went to a bookstore there called Bruna Bookstore. And I got... Of course, because what else would I get? Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone in Dutch, which I'm ridiculously excited for, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce because I don't want to embarrass myself, and I will. But because I am a nerd, I really want to have my English one and this one and kind of like compare and contrast the words and like the names and stuff. I don't know. That's just what I want to do. So I was really excited to pick this up. Okay, and so most of those were from Amazon or Barnes & Noble. A couple of them were from Half Price Books. 
And these are all from half price books. Because <laughs> whenever you spend $25 of your own money, plus you have $25 in the gift card, you get a lot of books when they're only half price. <laughs> so I'm going to go into these really quick for the most part just because I it's already a ridiculously long video. Um, but yeah, first of all, um, I have three Agatha Christie books. And I've never read an Agatha Christie book, but I am trying to collect them all in these editions, which are kind of like the signature autograph editions. And I got Third Girl, Evil Under the Sun, and Dumb Witness. And I already have two, three little pigs and, oh no, sorry, <laughs> five little pigs and something. I can't remember what the other one is, but yeah, I got those ones. I also got... Tiger's Curse by Colleen Hook, um, or Hauk, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And the only reason why I got this one is because along with the gift card I had a, whenever I went it was 50% off the highest priced item, so it was only a few dollars, and it's in like ridiculously good condition. It's like nobody read it. There was one dog-eared page right there on page 8, so whoever read this got to page 8 and then they just stopped, so... The next book I got is another book that I've been wanting for a really long time, and that is Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close by Jonathan Safran Foer. And I have, um, everything is illuminated. I haven't read it yet. I want to. But, yeah, so I got this. And I only have two more books, and this one is Jane by April Lindner. This is actually a book that I picked for Robin, I think, on our September, to be for her September to be read pile. She actually didn't end up reading it, but sounded interesting to me. Like I said before in another video, basically all it says as far as um, a synopsis is on the front, it says, what if Jane Eyre fell in love with a rock star? So I'm going to give it a try, see how it is. Plus, I really like the cover. And last but certainly not least is a book that I've already read, but I do not own and that needed to change. It's Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. And I have Lola and the Boy Next Door. And even though that one's in hardback and this is in paperback, this was four dollars so what are you gonna do so yeah that was my birthday book haul so again thank you to everybody who enabled me in my book buying obsession for my birthday I really do appreciate it and I'm hoping to get to some of these soon even though I seem to be in a little bit of a reading slump ever since I've been home it's like I just plus I got I don't know what this is about plus I got Sims three seasons, so when I could be reading, I'm sitting there playing Sims. I don't know. It's the bane of my existence, that game. But anyway, so that is it for today, and hopefully it will not be three more weeks until you see me again, or me and Robin. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Bye.